Hello fisher people, this is Captain Chris from beautiful Lake Texoma and Striper Express Guide Service with your R Community Now fishing report. Just came off that full moon in April, they've got the lake sucked down to about normal level and the floodgates are still roaring. Guys, they generally pull us down a few feet this time of year, even though we don't like it, to allow for spring rains that almost always come. Still on the sassy shad bite, but before I go into that, I do want to mention we've been having a few days where we're catching a few on slabs. And what I mean by slabs is just a lead spoon, such as any of these from many places that we get. The bite, though, is different than you'll think of a slab. It's on the free fall. You push that button and you're letting that slab fall through there and you're kind of controlling, thumbing it down and the fish will stop it, so to speak. Catch it on the way down because they're suspended out in the open water. It's a fun bite when you get it dialed in and when you're missing them a lot, it can be frustrating as well. But it's been starting to emerge and it will keep continuing as the water warms and the fish love slabs. But for now, still kind of on the sassy shad, let me get into that. <clears throat> From Reaction Lures, Joe over there has been painting me some contrast heads that have just contrast to them, whether it's chartreuse and silver, white, silver, and yellow, pink and white. And it has really seemed to make a difference this week on some of the trickier days to getting more fish put in the boat. As far as tails, liking that glow belly from Lane at Constant Pursuit Outfitters, liking the sassy shad in the glow from Charlie at Empty Pockets. It's just a different shape and a different size if you can see that. It's a little smaller and thinner and we and the fish seem to really enjoy it. And also from Bass Assassin, this color in the muddy water has gotten some hits this week. It's called Silver Phantom. just has a chartreuse tail on it. It's got a long tail with lots of action. The size class fish that are biting right now are tending to be in the two to six pound range with an occasional large female, but the bulk of the large girls are up in the river doing their business. They'll be back soon and top water will begin as the shad spawn more and more along the banks. Can't wait. Already seeing the egrets and cranes lining up. It's just another probably warm front or two away. The mud has been pulled pretty close to the dam, but there are clear pockets such as Little Mineral. There's been some action over by Willifa Woods and Platter Flats, Lakeside, Caney Creek to Soldier. There's been a lot of just open water schooling. You gotta keep your eyes peeled, binoculars handy, and keep an eye out for them. And guys, too, be courteous when these fish do school up. Everyone's excited. Everybody wants in on the action. But the nicer we play, the more fish we all catch. And don't get me wrong, I know everyone has had their moment for sure. I want to thank Six Gill Fishing for the awesome rods and reels that we get to catch these fish with. These things, guys, that wraith reel, it's the cat's meow, man. Just can't even talk about it with those sealed bearings. You should definitely check one out. And also check us out at www.striperexpress.com. And stay tuned to our community now for more fishing reports.